Just lost out on one route to Wembley in the League Cup. Crashed by Spurs, 5-1 at White Hart Lane. What sort of response from Arsene Wenger's team today? And it is the first away game for Newcastle United since the return of their managerial messiah, Kevin Keegan. And by a fluke of the fixture list, they're back here on Tuesday evening playing for Premier League points. Arsenal kick off. Dallas and Hoyt amongst those who uh, have been uh, trying to come to terms with what happened at White Hart Lane on Tuesday. It's another cup, it's another day. Rosicki uh, needing some uh, attention. Trying to get Rosicki back on, that's what the whistling's about. But meanwhile, Fabregas is sneaking in. He must have half thought about uh, taking it down and looking for an extra touch. And uh, went for the first time finish. And didn't get enough on the ball. Rosicki has to go off. Only nine minutes gone. Eduardo. On comes number nine, Eduardo. Frustration for Thomas Rosicki. Zappa goes near post again. Comes out to Smith. Off the line by Clichy. It's the Smith effort. Past the Abbey, but not past Clichy. Milner. Smith. Car. Good football here. Oh, and Michael Owen. It needed, it seemed, just a touch. Arsenal in trouble again. Oh, maybe just a bit too eager to get there. Walcott finds a way out of that. Diaby. Long strides if he was shaping for a, a long shot. Oh, the bounce there. A former for Eduardo. He read the spin better than Stephen Taylor. But given as he's done for so many years. So Newcastle well in their goal. Almost half a chance. Diaby. Lamini. With himself, and rightly so. Gallas, Fabregas, oh. he put a bit of bend on it and whip it from the top corner to Gibbons' left. Zogby takes. Ross. Oh, it was a bit stray then. And Taylor lifts it over Lehman, but over the bar. Score of the Newcastle equaliser in the league game at St James's Park earlier this season. Maybe the uh, goal scorer here in the fourth round of the FA Cup at the Emirates. With real conviction. Lamine. Now Diaby. Clichy. Adebayor, who, uh, of course, last Saturday scored with two headers at Fulham. Was, uh, disappointed with his efforts here. Eduardo. Back to Fabregas. He's struck with a bit more devil. There we go, certainly not the Arsenal way, really. The Abbey. That's uh, a good reach by Given. Again, he was reaching upwards rather than to one side. Newcastle keeping the Arsenal efforts from uh, outside the penalty area. And he's stopping. Sanderos. Flamini. So, the tempo of that 
passing again, but it's a fair more accuracy here. Eduardo, the master of the accurate shot. And it's fired in by Adebayor. Well, it's taken 50 minutes for Arsenal to get into their stride. And Adebayor scores for him in a sixth consecutive match. It's his 17th goal in all competitions this season. The post spared Newcastle the first time from Eduardo. But Arsenal have their 100th goal at the Emirates Stadium. And it goes to Emmanuel Adebayor. It's the first that Kevin Keegan's side have conceded since he came back for Newcastle United. And it was a rasping finish by the Togolese striker, who is in such spectacular form at the moment. Zappa comes out to Diaby. Close down straight away. Adebayor tried to place it. The Gibbons left. And having uh, got the first, was looking for the second here. Now Smith and Duff. He's given it straight to Eduardo. Diaby. And left by Fabregas. She saw some space and accelerating into it. Taking him the rhythm. Fabregas. Eduardo. Beautiful play from Arsenal. The ball coming from Damien Duff in the state. And she's uh, boundless enthusiasm. And considered ball. And uh, Kasapa stopping Eduardo's shot. Move into the last 15 minutes at the Emirates. Adebayor trying for the touch that would mean progress for sure. Got himself a good starting position then. Fred. Appreciate Fred. Out of by all. Still out of by all. He's through. Arsenal in the fifth round. Despite the best efforts by Stephen Taylor on the line. He's been the difference. Others were decoys in the end. Taylor behind the goalkeeper. But the ball cannoning in off him. As Adebayor continues to blaze his personal trail this season. The big man with a massive contribution today. And one way or the other, that uh, second goal of the game was going to come. Here's Clichy. He's still looking for his first Arsenal goal. Point <laughs> make every time he has a shot. Clichy. Now the catch is Cesc Fabregas. Arsenal don't have to be too ambitious at this free kick. Dallas is staying back. Senderos is staying back. An own goal. Nicky Butt. So it's 3 0. Perhaps not what Newcastle deserve. But it's all come good for Arsenal yet again this season in the second half. Butt's touch. Look skywards and uh, Eduardo can't even raise his arm. 
in the celebration. of his short time on the pitch. Fabregas, and a by all, still, still. Oh, he would have been a standing ovation, but he couldn't stand up long enough to get it beyond giving his respectfully helping the uh, Arsenal magician back to his feet. Milner. Well, the record books will show that Arsenal and Newcastle out of both domestic cup competitions this season. Kevin Keegan's side have lost 3-0 here. Sam Allardyce's were beaten 2-0 in September. It was the second half which really showed the difference after Newcastle had competed well in the first period. The two from Adebayor, Nicky Butt's own goal. Newcastle just couldn't muster the optimism and the thrust uh, that they showed in the uh, first 45 minutes. Adebayor's great run goes on. And Arsenal go through to the fifth round. Newcastle United are out. Arsenal three, Newcastle nil. That's a uh, bit of a change from after the match on Tuesday, but uh, given the shape of the game, did your players perhaps take a, a little while, the first half, to get that out of their system? Well, yes, but many players didn't play on Tuesday, you know, and, uh, but uh, I felt it was more down to the fact that uh, Newcastle started uh, very brightly and uh, created some chances and it took us some time to con take control of the game and uh, we did that slowly in the first half and uh, completely in the second and uh, that's why we scored the goals. Certainly as well, the second goal was uh, the meaning for Newcastle that it was over and of course after in the last 10-15 minutes it was easier. But it certainly wasn't easy in the first half and Kevin Keegan's brought some spirit to this Newcastle side. It wasn't easy at all because they played very well and uh, Kevin brought them uh, drive uh, uh, f going forward and uh, belief as well in what they do and uh, of course, uh, they were dangerous. And Emmanuel Adebayor uh, is scoring every time he plays at the moment, uh, and different types of goals as well. Well, uh, I, I like the fact that he grows from season to season, you know, and that's what you want from your players, that they don't stand still and always improve. Well, Did you? Can we, can we stop that? I think you've got to start again. There's a problem with that microphone. Oh Sorry. Is the microphone yeah, Have we got anybody... No, it's fine. Should it's we move on to the next one and come back? No, no. it's okay. Are we saying? Right? Yeah. Did, did, did any of that get? Was that? Was carry on. Carry, carry on. on. Right. Sorry. We'll pick, we'll pick it up, Arsene. Carry on. Carry on. Arsene, um, uh, just to, to finish off the Adabai or week, um, did you take any specific action after the uh, the head to head between him and his teammate Nicholas Bentner on Tuesday? Well, we, uh, I would like to keep that secret and deal internally with it because uh, so much has been made of uh, you have played football, what is called a small incident when you play on a daily basis and uh, uh, therefore I feel there is not a lot to add now. It was not just coincidence and tactics that Bentner stayed on the bench today. Well, uh, it was had nothing to do with the incident, it's just the fact that we were one nil up and uh, if Bender was needed and if I felt that he had to come on, he would have come on. But Adebayor is clearly not uh, upset by, <laughs> by the way he's played for 90 minutes. Well, I, I think uh, they have a good understanding basically, but sometimes, you know, uh, up front, uh, when you lose a game, it is, uh, can get a little bit heated, because especially in the final third, you know, you're always a fraction of second where if you get the ball or you don't get the ball, you can be dangerous or not, and uh, so sometimes uh, it happens in every team. We were waiting to see whether you'd take Adebayo off and put Bentner on, and they would pass, but that it never happened. Well, uh, that's, that's more for... <laughs> For of course for uh, stories, but uh, <laughs> what I did is just to uh, I felt that uh, uh, Diaby went into the game with a uh, little ankle problems, so, you know that's why I wanted to take him out. And Theo played as well on Tuesday, and I wanted uh, to spare him the final 20 minutes. How important is the FA Cup to Arsenal this season? 
Well, uh, it is it is uh, an important competition for us, but uh, of course we have a clear idea of the priorities: is Championship, Champions League, and FA Cup. And at the moment, what you want to do is to be in the race for everything, and uh, you choose as late as possible. And of course, as far as the uh, the Premier League is concerned, you face Newcastle again on Tuesday. It's yeah. extraordinary how these things happen. Uh, uh, will it be a different Arsenal team in terms of selection? You, you lost Rosicki today. We lost Rosicki today, and uh, certainly Leb will be back because I arrested him today. And uh, but 90% will be the same team. And, and what about what have you learned from facing Newcastle in this FA Cup tie in regards to a Premier League match? What you've learned is that uh, you need a top class performance to beat them at the moment, and uh, that you need a very sound defensive performance. Our defence played very well today to keep a clean sheet. And what's the news on talking of defence of Colo Toure? Well, uh, we had him on the phone last night and. Uh, he uh, didn't really know. We uh, want to check him. Uh, he has to make a scan. It looks, uh, having talked with him, uh, that he has a groin problem, a groin uh, injury. How big that groin injury is, uh, uh, nobody really knows at the moment. So there's no suggestion he's coming back early? Uh, with that kind of injury, if it's really confirmed on the scan, uh, I can't see how he can stay out there because that means three weeks out and uh, the competition ends on the 10th of February, so uh, in that, if that's the case, he should come back. And the competition starts again for you on January the 29th against Newcastle United here, and it's thick and fast, isn't it? Exactly, but uh, we know that, and uh, you know we have a short squad, especially at the moment with the players uh, who are injured and the way in the African Nations Cup. That's why to lose a player like Rosicky today is, of course, worrying, and uh, because we are in all the competitions, it is very, very demanding.